Good morning. This is the service design advent calendar and it is the 13th of December today. In Sweden, where I live, uh, today is called Lucia. It's the festival of light, uh, where an Italian saint has come to Sweden with candles on her head and it's celebrated in all schools and uh, kindergartens and this morning on TV. You can see that it's light outside now, um, but you can imagine that when it's dark all the time, light is very important and obviously it represents hope. And in service design, I feel that light often when we've done research and you know you get you get one uh, key insight, you discover something that people really need, you discover something that people really want, and you recognize in the team uh, the client, uh, the stakeholders or top management that there is a there is a human to human connection and something you know, lights up and, and it really changes the path uh, of, a, of a project. But the inspiration I wanted to share with you today is, is, is more about uh, thinking about and being creative, uh, what the future could be, which I think often in service design project, we, uh, we forget a little bit. So we spent a lot of time on insights, on strategy, on blueprinting and thinking about how to connect insights to solutions and how to get it all uh, to map out. And I think we should really make an effort to also spend time to imagine what great looks like, which sometimes uh, gets forgotten. And that can take different forms. I was first uh, inspired about this by the CEO of Lego uh, many years ago when he turned uh, Lego around he created a magazine describing the turnaround from the perspective of the future to share his uh, vision with people. So I've been working with that uh, since a long time. And often I, I use what I call moments from the future in, in projects to show sort of glimpses of uh, what could be, to really push uh, the imagination and, and to think, think a little bit bigger. And it's a very simple and very effective tool that can come in different shapes and sizes. It can be a sketch, it can be a mock-up of you know, how things could be five years from now. And there is a movement called design fiction that is working very actively with creating physical artifacts uh, that sort of represent a possible future to challenge discussions today. So I encourage you to check that out. There's a lot of cool examples out there for, for design fiction. But you know, very simply, uh, in in initiatives and projects, to think about, you know, what could this be in five years? Sometimes we work with creating headlines from the future that you sort of make the front cover of a magazine. Recently, in a workshop, we've done a tweet from the future that worked extremely well to help people imagine what could a customer post five years from now if we create this. And I think what is important is that. It takes you beyond solution. It opens up and enlightens uh, sort of new possibilities. Uh, one really good example for that is, is, is Volvo that, you know, for many years struggled to get top management to believe that services is something they can actually get into. And they created a pilot where they made a video documentary of a prototype where they delivered parcels to a connected car trunk. And they had that piloted with a thousand customers and they launched a video at uh, Mobile World Congress, which was at that time the biggest PR uh, they had ever created. So it became actually very impactful publicly, but the biggest uh, unlock was in, internal for top management to see services in a different light, to see that actually it's not the consumer of the car that pays for additional services, but it is um, a, a B2B uh, business model where DHL is paying for a safe delivery point. So I think what is powerful about this tool or uh, way of working is that it really uh, opens up new ways of thinking and it creates a collaborative conversation around it. So different people that come from different backgrounds, different mindsets can have sort of a short joint discussion about uh, a creative, imaginative, bold 
uh, future proposition. So it's not about the solution, it's about opening up and enlightening uh, new dialogue, new discourse and new possibilities. So I hope this gives you something to think about, maybe in your current project, next project, uh, this is something you can you can think about and bring some light and you know help make it very concrete uh, what the future could look like in a way that we actually want to live there. Thanks very much. Have a nice day.